What's up guys, Perry from Rockville here and today I'm going to teach you how to set up your RWM U2 dual UHF rechargeable wireless microphone system. As you can see it comes with the two channel receiver that has the charging docks for your microphones, the two wireless microphones, two antennas to optimize the microphone signal, a quarter inch cable, and a power supply. The RWM U2 is also one U rack mountable which means we can mount it to any rack mount or rack bag by screwing it in using these four corners here. So one of the first things we can do to set up the receiver is take the two antennas and screw them onto the back of the receiver. So to do that you can start by taking one of the antennas and plug it into the port here under antenna A or antenna B. Make sure it fits into the slot and push it in. Then you're going to want to twist the end of it till you get that one click. After that we can twist the base so that we can bring the antenna up like so. Then we're going to do the same exact thing with the other antenna. Now when we have the receiver plugged in and connect these microphones to these docks here, they will actually charge your microphones up. If we take a look on the inside of the mic, remove this end cap, you'll notice that there's a rechargeable battery here that powers each microphone. It usually takes about four hours to completely charge the mics. And you'll know your microphones are charging when you see these lights here flashing on the docks. And the charging light will actually stay solid when the microphone is fully charged. When fully charged, these microphones last for 10 hours, which makes them perfect for live gigs. Another cool thing is that these microphones will charge on these docks whether your unit is turned on or off, as long as it's plugged into the wall. And whenever you're ready to use your microphones, you can just pick them up, turn them on, and use them for your performance or event. So to start using these microphones, you'll want to connect the receiver to a powered speaker or a mixer. First, let me show you how to set it up with a powered speaker. All right, so here I have our very own Titan 12 powered speaker that I'm going to be using with the RWM U2. So to connect the receiver to the speaker, I'm going to take the included quarter inch cable. I'm going to take one end and plug it into the quarter inch mix out output on the back of the receiver. Then I can take the other end and plug it into one of the mic inputs on our speaker. If you have an XLR cable, you can use the XLR mix output on the back of the receiver to connect to your speaker as well. Now I'll go ahead and turn on my speaker. I'll raise the level knob on the channel we're using on the speaker. Then I'll raise the mic channels here on the receiver. Now we can grab one of our microphones and hold down the power button to turn the mic on. And now you should be able to hear my voice coming out of the speaker. A great thing about using wireless microphones is that you don't have to worry about any mic cables whatsoever and you're free to move around the stage during your gig or event. Now if we take a look at the microphones themselves, you'll see this LCD display here that will show you how much battery life each mic has and what frequency channel each mic is set to. We got 20 frequency channels to choose from to get the clearest sound coming out of our microphone possible. So if you're experiencing any dropouts or interference while using in the microphone, you can just twist off this end cap here to reveal this button that will allow you to switch the frequency channel right here. You can also go as far as 250 to 350 feet indoors and 165 to 200 feet outdoors away from the receiver with your microphone and still be able to hear yourself coming out of the speaker. You can also set the microphone to standby mode by pressing the power button once and it acts as a mute button so anything I say from here on won't be heard through your microphone. And like I mentioned before, we can use the RWM U2 with a mixer and a couple of speakers for a bigger setup. So let me show you that next. All right, so here I have the RPM 1470 mixer with my two passive speakers that I'm gonna be using with the RWM U2. So just like our last setup, we can use the included quarter inch cable or XLR cable to connect the receiver to one of the channels on our mixer, but you can also connect the two channels on the back of the receiver to two channels on your mixer for independent control of each microphone. For that setup, I'm gonna need two XLR cables. I'm gonna take the female ends and plug them into the balanced A and balanced B XLR outputs on the back of the receiver. Then I'll take the other ends and plug them into two channels on our mixer. Today I'll use channels one and two. So now I'll go ahead and turn on my mixer. Then I'll raise the volume knobs here on the front of the receiver. Next I'll raise the gain and volume faders for each channel on my mixer. And then to hear the microphones coming out of the speakers, I'll want to raise the main left and right faders on the mixer. So now I can grab one of my microphones hold the power button to turn it on, and now you should be able to hear my voice coming out of the speakers. So now what's great about this setup is now we can use the features on the mixer like the built-in EQs and effects to manipulate the sound coming out of our microphones, which is really great for big live performances. So I hope this showed you guys how easy it is to set up your RWM U2 dual UHF rechargeable wireless microphone system 
But of course, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to our customer support team through phone or email. As always, guys, I'm Perry from Rockville, and we'll see you guys next time.